Almost every gamer and editor has heard about anti-aliasing, but what does it actually mean, and why is it necessary? In order to understand why we need anti-aliasing, it is important to know what aliasing actually means. First of all, aliasing is a broad term and is not only related to computer graphics. Even audio signals can have temporal aliasing. However, in this video, we will only be covering spatial aliasing, or in common terms, jaggedness. Now, one thing we know for sure: jaggedness is bad. It makes our images look terrible, especially our games. So, why does this happen? Basically, it's a problem of resolution. We will try to demonstrate this using a simple example with the help of Microsoft's legendary art program. Yes, MS Paint. No, seriously, it's good enough for the job. As you probably know, our screens are made up of square dots called pixels, which is a problem because not all images are made up of square components. If we try to draw an absolutely straight line in MS Paint. We are not going to get any aliasing. As you can see, this just looks like a straight line. However, if I try to draw a diagonal line, ugh, that jaggedness. Why is this happening? The answer is quite simple. Squares stacked together on their edges form a straight line, but squares stacked together on their diagonals do not form a straight line. Let's see what happens when we zoom out on this image. Now, as you can see, the line does not appear very jagged at this resolution. However, if we zoom in again, the jaggedness returns. Theoretically, if we had infinite pixels, we would have no aliasing. But unfortunately, we cannot have an infinite resolution on a display device. Well, at least for now. So that means we are going to have to deal with some level of jaggedness. The problem gets compounded in real-time environments where there's dynamic rendering of frames. When consecutive frames are rendered of objects made up of very few pixels, polygons can sometimes start popping in and out of existence, as you can see in the image on the left. Now, this problem has been annoying gamers since antiquity. So the solution: anti-aliasing, right? Actually, increase your resolution. As you can see, if we zoom out sufficiently enough on the image, the problem of aliasing disappears. So, if you have a really high resolution, you are not going to have aliasing. So, it's fundamentally a resolution problem. But having more resolution isn't always possible or convenient. Thus, we have created a software workaround, which is known as anti-aliasing. So what anti-aliasing does is takes multiple samples of the image and tries to approximate pixels and modifies the edges of polygons to give the illusion of a higher resolution. As you can see, even in Paint, when we zoom in, we can actually see that the pixels on the edges are actually fading out very gently. The same thing can be observed in this image. This approximation technique, when used correctly, Can result in much better looking images and can save structures from popping in and out of existence in games. Now, as you might have intuitively guessed, the more the number of samples, the better. Hence, we have 4x, 8x, 16x, and so on. Now, there are various techniques of anti-aliasing, like FXAA, MSAA, which we will be discussing in a later video. But for now, we will just conclude with this. Anti-aliasing tries to eliminate or at least reduce the effects of aliasing at lower resolutions. So if you're a gamer and you're trying to remove that jaggedness, you basically have two options: you can either move to a higher resolution or a higher pixel density, or add anti-aliasing techniques to provide an economical fix. Sometimes players even use downsampling from higher resolutions instead of anti-aliasing to make environments look better. If you still don't like your AA filters, though, you can always move to a higher resolution or pixel density. But for those of us who have a more powerful GPU than monitor, anti-aliasing can be a lifesaver. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you found it helpful. And hey, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to Seemly Leo. I don't just talk about games; I play them too. Thank you all for watching. This is Leo, and I'll catch you in the next one.
Oh wait, you're still here? Let me mention how I got inspired to make this video. So basically, I was taking a class in quote-unquote computer graphics at my university, and the teacher talked about the problem of aliasing. This is what he said. Let's listen in. Oh yeah, that was quite accurate. Seriously, college education at my place sucks. <laughs>